Hi and welcome back. It's Vicky here with another card for today. So I will be working the Cotton Comfort Stamp Set and Matching Dies by Altenew and this is actually the most requested uh, one after my question on my previous video. So this is what I will be working with today. And to tell you the truth, it wasn't a surprise that you chose this stamp set because it's such a unique design. Now, it comes with those uh, cotton flowers and there are lots of sentiments perfect for friendship cards, for sympathy cards and for uh, thank you cards. Stay tuned as on Monday I will be working with another Altenew favorite from the latest release, the With Gratitude stamp set and dies, the one with the leaves. Now I'm going to do some stamping and for that I'm going to use my stamping blocks. These are acrylic blocks in a little case. There are four different sizes. They all have a grid etched on one side and that makes uh, applying your stamps on top of them straight quite easy. And the fact that they have their own uh, little case to put inside just uh, makes me so happy and they make them look as if they are very precious. Now, it's one of those uh, little joys that uh, crafting gives you that nobody else really understands. Now, I'm going to stamp three different images, a big uh, cotton flower and a couple of uh, two smaller ones. I am stamping everything with uh, Memento Toxido Black Ink, just because I will be working with my alcohol markers to color everything later on. And I'm going to bring in my Altenew markers set. This is the set A and hopefully they will come up with more colors to complete uh, the collection. And I will be using the lightest of the blue ones and this is B201. And I'm going to combine it with my other alcohol markers. You can combine it with your Copics. I'm going to combine them with my Spectrum Noirs. The idea is to keep the cotton white, but I'm going to add a few light blue shadows close to the stem. And I want my shadows to be as soft as possible. And although I'm using a very pale blue, I'm also going to go over it with a blender pen just to help it blend out to white really smoothly. And this is where I am using a light grey marker, very light, and uh, I am deepening up the shadows. I'm not going to apply as much of grey as I did with the blue, but it is going to help uh, each and every area separate a little bit from the rest. And for the stems I'm going to work with uh, two different shades of brown. The areas are so thin so you don't really need to do any crazy blending. And here's another thing that I love about this design, it's that you can color it super quickly. All you need is to add a little bit of shadow and just color the stems and the, the result is just gorgeous. Now, and I believe that it would also look beautiful if instead of using pale blue, you could use any pale color that you like from the pastel colors. So it would also be, look uh, beautiful and so soft and fluffy if you used pale pink, for example. Now, one of my go-to designs when I am working with uh, plants is uh, to create a window for my panel and this is where I'm going to nest my flowers. Now, one thing I would like to show you is that uh, when you place your flower against a darker uh, cardstock, it's going to look even brighter and even more white. So instead of placing it on top of a white card base, I'm going to work with craft color. Now I have my window panel ready to go and I'm going to stamp the sentiment at this stage because later on it's going to be quite bulky for me to have a nice impression of stamping. And uh, since the design is quite uh, versatile, you can pretty much use any sentiment from the stamp set. I decided to go with sending you warm hugs. And uh, I'm using the espresso dye ink and that comes from a bundle of four different things that are called coffee break. Now I want to cover up the back of my window with glitter and that's why I'm going to place the panel on top and with a pencil I'm going to draw where exactly that, win that window is going to fall on my card base. Now I'm going to cover up that area with double sided tape making sure that I don't go all the way to the edges as I'm planning to have a little border at the end. I'm going to peel off the backing and now I'm going to apply some glitter. The glitter I'm using is by Nouveau, the pure sheen, and that's a butter 
aqua. It's a beautiful color that looks awesome just like you see it here on top of white cardstock, but once I place it on top of the craft cardstock it's going to look more subtle which is perfect for the design that I am going for. Now I'm going to use my finger, I'm not afraid of a glitter, I'm quite uh, brave here and I'm going to push the glitter on top of my tape. I'm gonna tap off the excess and now I'm gonna do that again and now I know that I don't have any excess glitter coming out from my card. Of course you can use your bone folder to push the glitter on top of the tape and if you totally hate uh, glitter then uh, you can skip this step, you can use sparkling embossing powder or you can even use some pattern paper at the back of the window instead. Now I am trimming my window panel to make it slightly smaller than a standard card, so it's about one eighth of an inch smaller from each side. I have added some foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick that on top of my card base. And now it's finally time to assemble my card, so I'm going to place all my die cuts coming out from the window and I'm adding some foam squares at the back of them just to add a little bit of dimension. And as I'm doing that I want to remind you that there is a giveaway running on my blog for all the new, so make sure to visit my blog post and you will find all the details there. Now your card is already completely finished, it has tons of glitter on top so you don't really need to add anything else, but uh, I just couldn't help it, so I am going to add some shine on my cotton. And I'm going to finish it off by adding some dots in different areas with my Nuvo glitter drops which are going to dry completely transparent. And that was my card for today, very clean and simple looking, but yet so elegant. I hope you had fun and got inspired, and I want to wish you all a wonderful weekend. See you all on Monday.